Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Lights Out Co. Pod, episode number two of season two. I am your host, Chris, and I'm here with my other host, Matt. And uh, we're here with a special guest, Mr. Nate the Great. Hey, big Nate the Great. Don't hate, don't discriminate. What to do, guys? You know what he's saying. How you doing? You know what he's saying. Triumphant return. Yes, sir. We back at it again. Lights out. You already know the word. Like, subscribe, comment. Yes, sir. And I do have to mention this share and make sure you review us leave us like a little rate on spotify i didn't know how much that helps the algorithm that helps the algorithm with our uh, podcast going to the top on spotify so if you guys can rate it five stars if you think it's four stars do four stars if you think it's three stars do three stars but i think it's five stars so yeah make sure you rate that up but today on the lights out cold pot we had to have nate back because he just came back from rolling loud yes, so sir, you know we want to talk a little bit about his uh his time off because i know me and matt yeah. went over last week how time off for us helps and time on helps for him and stuff like that so yes, sir, yes, you know sir. nate uh spent the week in miami so nate hey, just go over it real quick uh overall it was a really great trip i enjoyed it saw my boy kendrick lamar kill it i saw a little uzi i was in the devil pit and kanye came too right uh, i was in that little he came out with a little dirk i yeah. wasn't at the there's a like Who did? Uh, kanye he oh, ended yeah. up he ended up going to the show because well, Kid Cudi got booed off yeah, hey, no, yeah. I ain't wanna, I yo kanye let me down he's supposed to be there rich i paid good money to go see kanye kendrick lamar he yeah. was, and, yeah, gotta, saw, gotta, and, and then I find out the week of he's not showing up. We got a clip to the part where it's in like one I of the other. Say, Kanye, <laughs> yes, sir, right? You got to clip it. Forward to scene. Kanye West. Yeah, I haven't seen that man live. Bro, I'm surprised he's gonna be there, man. I, I hope he's better to be there. Yo, Kanye, if you listen, don't cancel Kanye. Be in the right state of mind, my brother. I paid good money to co see ya. <laughs> yo, yo, Kanye, hook a brother up. Let me get backstage passes, lights out style, because that's crazy. I had a feeling. I was like, yo, I kind of called it. I was like, yo, if Kanye's in the right state, he he should. And then he comes in. I don't, you know, a little conspiracy going on already. I don't even think it was Kanye. I mean, no one saw his face. You know, they could have just. Pulled <laughs> <laughs> they put some Donda stuff. They just put. I mean, did you see it's just his some, face? It's just some random. It's just some random individual. I mean, all you gotta do is lip sync, and they put on the music, and then they just. Hey, but I wasn't there. I didn't make it. I was uh, at another concert. I was watching uh, Little Uzi. I was getting in there because I love Little Uzi. Little Uzi Vert. And I'm sure if you see the highlights, he throws on. He throws a banger for a concert. So I wasn't missing it. I got up there as close as I could. They're, they actually were throwing these, uh, wa- they actually had SOS, like uh, like ration uh, water in like plastic bags. I was like, thank God. They never uh-huh. did that the years I went. I've been a couple of years. This was my fourth or fifth one, and they never did that, but I survived. I was able to come back. There you go. But, Down two of those all by yourself, probably. Oh, man, I'm telling you. The, the, it was wild. It was wild. I enjoyed it. Was it was hot down there, huh? It was very hot, humid. You literally couldn't go out walking. I, I tried walking <laughs> a quarter mile, and I, I had to stop at Walgreens and CVS two, three times just to get a water. You probably just, had a just nice get little... AC, too. A just nice, to get, for real. You probably had a nice little space, because people, I just feel like they see you, and they're just like, I, uh, ain't no way I'm moshing with him. Oh uh, no! Or rubbing up against no, him. No, there was some Yo, big boys. No, nah, that's fucked up. We played up. ball with them. We know. Uh, yeah, but I don't care. Big body me. <laughs> there was some big boys there. There was some big boys. There was a big girls, big boys. So there was limited room when you got really big old women down in San Antonio. <laughs> but either way, the whole trip in general was very good. I enjoyed it. Flights kind of iffy. I don't know what was up with JetBlue. Kind of mm. doing me dirty. Canceled my flight literally Damn. the night before. Went through a whole debacle with that. Kind of Jet Blue. Jet Blue well, did me dirty for once. Flights in general have just been. Yeah, we were talking about that. We Man. were going to go to Miami, but just been flights up. were just stressing us out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I had to book these flights like forever ago, like like at least four or five months in advance. And then on the day before, they end up canceling me, having to drive to Boston, even though I didn't want to. I wanted to go out of Worcester. But, you know, it is what it is and went through it. Got to Miami at least, had a good time, went out clubbing, you know, good time, good scene yeah. out there, you know, with the vibes. There's a good scene out there. But the heat and everything else was killer. But uh, how, what did I miss? How have you guys been? Man, you didn't miss a whole lot. I had that week off, but I uh, I just started a new job this week, so I've been doing doing well with that, yes, you know. Sir. Um, like me and Matt talked about last week, I think change is, you know, one of those things that you just got to do, and as hard as it is, it, it helps you, so... Um, that's what I've been doing. I know Matt just been hanging out, picking up a lot of shifts yeah, yeah. out where. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so um, this paycheck's gonna be fat though. I'm telling yes, you, sir. put all that time in. I mean, working the summer work, away. Hey, you work your seven days. <laughs> right, yeah. You know that thing gonna be fat at the end of the week. <laughs> yeah. I'm just playing. <laughs> but I know one of your changes. It was the gym, um, and I know you texted me today. 
oh yeah with so, your experience yeah, yeah um so i was gonna say I, i've been going to a new gym and i um i've never seen people like record like i've always seen it like i watch a lot of youtubers on you know obviously on youtube and <laughs> like fitness guys on youtube and stuff like that and they they do their thing and i really look at them for inspiration sometimes tips advice stuff like that so um i saw a few people with like a bunch of young la stuff on and a few people with or just one person with a naka on but um the funny people out the kid with the young la on was he was recording for a video and that's the first time i've ever seen someone recording in the gym um i always thought like in massachusetts like it's not really that big of like a industry you know like people lift but they go to you know private gyms if they want to record and stuff like that so that's the first time at a commercial gym that i saw um someone filming and it kind of made me think maybe i should start doing my own thing because i've been wanting to for a while so um maybe that's the start of it but i did want to just talk about like influencers in general and like do you guys look up to any influencers like not like don't have to be youtubers or like instagram or shit like that but just people in general that you've seen on you know on your tiktok for you page or people you've seen on twitter or something that that you know like oh i recognize this person you might not necessarily be a fan of but you can tell that they're doing things right because you keep seeing them on the explore page on the popular page stuff like that so do you have anybody matt per se me like mainstream wise not really like i mean obviously with fitness and stuff like follow people like the people over at anaka Mm -hmm. um c-bomb but yeah, it's like, C-Bum's you know, like the popular guy that yeah. everybody talks about. He's just stuff. like with so many brands too. I know he does stuff with Anaka. He does stuff with uh, Ghost, Raw. Ghost. Ghost. So Raw is his Raw is his like brand that he uh, partnered with, and they made the the, the Savage. C-Bum, Savage. Yeah. So like it's like his list. Saw the Savage yeah. uh, pre workout. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> Raw's been always doing doing awesome things, but one of the companies that um, a lot of people are starting to hop onto, and they actually just released a female only. Um, brand is young la and young la they um they have so many different influences on there that i didn't even know were a part of their team because i'd i watched them separately Mm -hmm. and then i all of a sudden realized holy shit all these people are a part of young uh young la which um is pretty awesome i think that this just goes to show you like what we're trying to do with our brand like brands can grow at a rapid pace you just have to make sure that but you just have to make sure that you have people that you know believe. are yeah are gonna make the brand like top of the line you know because yeah. those people with anaka they care about anaka and they've been doing it for a while like i know one of uh the marketing guys his name's big baller ant on instagram hey, he's yeah big shout out i mean he don't need it because he got eleven thousand on <laughs> ig but i started following when he had like four thousand and he's a good friend of uh one of our friend Justin's and he, <clears throat> he just put his stuff out on Instagram, started talking to the, the brand, um, the CEO of the brand, Shali Coker, and like literally just made it work for himself, which is unbelievable. Uh, so you just gotta look at influencers from afar and see like what they do on the outskirts and like what they do as like a person per se, because you only see one side of them on Instagram and stuff like that. Right. But the best side yeah you you kind of like can see like man it doesn't seem like they have much like bad about their life they might have some bad about their life and that's the thing about influencers is they only show the side that they want you to see i was gonna say that's where the slippery slope is like looking at these influencers and you know when i for me personally and like my fitness goals and stuff like that like i see c-bomb like i see his instagram i see his posts i know at the end of the day like he's on a whole new level Mm -hmm. like he's just what he how he looks physically you know that's that's not something everyone can get you know absolutely comparing my goals with people who are like influencers um saying like the the fitness industry Mm -hmm. you know i don't look at them as like you good yeah (laughs) you're tripping me out I'm just sitting here, I'm just I'm paying attention to you, my brother, intently. But, you know, you, you can't compare yourself to these influencers. Because, like you said, you, like you said, um, I, I lost my train. It's of all good. Thought. Like I said, like, they only have. Oh, they show the, yeah, the good side, yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, especially when it comes to fitness, like, you never know what this influencer is on, like, 
you know, a lot of people aren't transparent about it. They'll like right. say like in one video, oh, I'm, I'm uh, on this cycle, but you really don't know what it is. Right. And then they come clean. They're like, yeah, I've been not natural this entire time. And there's a yeah. lot of people like that. So Damn, I just think hot. with, yeah, with influencers in general, you always have to be careful when you start looking up to them and because then you start comparing yourself to them. And it's just like, I don't know, I feel like you put them on such a pedestal where you don't really even know. If they're a good person or not. The backstory yeah. of, of it all, you know. <clears throat> Obviously, at the end of the day, it's all for, for a paycheck. Right. Because that is their job. That's their living. Um, Spread the brand. Make the brand right. popular. And I'm just, like, there are the genuine people out there who are for the brand. Mm-hmm. But then there are others who are kind of just sellouts, you yeah. know, all, like always sold out. Like, yeah. So, I mean. It's, it's yeah, like you said, it's a slippery slope. That's like, why I think a lot of a lot of influencers are so like cringe because it's just like mm-hmm. there's a lot of cringe ones out there. Even the even the comment sections on like the fitness ones, I love um, the comments, but then it's just it's like bad to watch yeah. sometimes. Oh, yeah. Where I'm just like, oh, well, you gotta how think how does this person have such an audience? You gotta think of the algorithm, like what they do for their certain audience. Like they know who their target audience is. A lot of people they might not even like who they're like who they're putting it out to right. they they just put it out because they know it that it's traffic get, yes yes it's unbelievable and um i wanted to ask you nate nate you've been uh on your your workout grind recently yes sir um, got back on it when i came back yes sir to. so let me uh let me ask you how how do you feel about the whole like fitness influencer thing would you ever would you ever see yourself being like some kind of guy who looks up to those or anything like that or me personally i do not look to up to any of them i don't follow i just go and you know just grind out whatever do thing, i got to do but for me a big uh, influ- influencer for me would be uh, patty the batty i don't know if you guys seen him or heard of him i'm sure you know uh, it looks like the Beatles are coming back from uh, <laughs> London because he's rocking it. That massive and, bowl cut. Right. And um, cut, kind of going back to last week, you touch on mental health and uh, something really big happened to him where his friend uh, killed himself, took his life. Uh, actually, uh, the his day of his weigh-in, a big weigh-in, a big fight happening in London too, I believe. And uh, he came out and after his victory, he dedicated the fight to him. So thoughts and prayers to Patty the Batty. If you haven't heard of him, you better look him up now. T- he's gonna be the next McGregor. Yeah, he's he's been popping he's off been in the thing. in the UFC. I know a lot a lot of it has to kind of do with Barstool. Too, yeah, Barstool's been right. kind of, and that goes back to influencing and like influencers and like Barstool's one of those brands that I follow them on Instagram and every day, they're called Barstool Sports. They do not have any sports content anywhere. <laughs> they post one sports clip every week and then it's after that just stupid tiktok stupid videos right. stuff like little that. memes like animal and they videos still get the right. same traffic there's the comments on the vi- uh, on the uh post and it's like oh barstool i, re- I remember when this used to be a sports yeah, like uh, literally sports page. all over the place but <laughs> they're missed. still they're still they have millions of followers right. still doing their thing and it just goes to show you like you really have to mold to your audience but well, look going at, back look to the, the patty patty the uh patty like this is patty the body this is the thing like He's gotten all that in, that influence from Barstool, and then he was on his top stage, and he used it for good to talk about men's mental health, which yeah, is so right. important and yeah. just like so like con like this is the type of thing we need from athletes. We saw so many athletes coming out last year, like Kevin Love was one of the first uh, in the NBA, and just how important mental health is to talk about. Like, yeah, men's mental health matters too. Right, right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have the um, like the post interview. I had posted it on my. Um, Matty Y L O C account and just to hear him kinda get emotional uh to the point where, you know, he was choking up. Like yeah. he couldn't he couldn't say uh his words yeah. without, you know, choking up. So right. it definitely hits home for him at least, you know. You see it happen all the time, but it's different when it happens either to you, like to someone you know or, you know, in your life in general, it just it's a completely different completely different thing. Level yeah. of how it how it's gonna hit you. But Absolutely. like you said, I mean he's using that platform to purvey such a good message. And I think like when it comes I don't know if it's like a United States thing, but I feel like other countries since he's from what like Ireland or he's is, uh, London. He's well, from British. He's British. I thought he was what's from his Ireland. He's, yeah, he is. Hey, that accent is not British though, so I don't know. Fact check. But I mean, I swear to God, he is. <laughs> but regardless, I feel like other the countries kind of view British 
Yes, sir. Really? Yes, sir. Yeah. I ain't around. English Fat mixed Chinese. martial artist, so he's English mixed. He don't be talking like that. No, he be talking like that. He's a he schnauzer. talks like he's got some lucky charms in the back uh, of his throat. Yeah. Hey, either way, he t- he kicks ass. I'm going to tell you now. Yeah, Him and yeah. Sean O'Malley. If you don't know, now you know. Sean O'Malley. I go for a bowl of Yo, lucky That man charms. putting people on in their ass. Yeah. I mean, there's some big fights coming up. I'm telling you, you guys got to get into the UFC. It's definitely. See, I'm not too into UFC, I but. Right, right. <laughs> Yo, you don't got to be a fighter. People watch boxing. I'm just trying to get in the ring and say hey man. stop nah nah i want to see someone there yeah you know, i was watching early guy came in with the knees giving the elbows <laughs> come in soft come on. i'm telling you hey football too football's coming around football season. yeah we're gonna have a more in-depth episode probably all nfl related mac um, jones yo malik be mac jones you better know him. malik i tell you right now at, mac at him mac everyone 10. at yeah sir everyone at malik Mac 10. He doesn't like Mac 10. I don't know, I, I don't yeah. know what his problem is, all right? He ain't going to prove him wrong this year. You know the weapons we got? Hunter Henry, Geno Smith. His main said Hunter Henry first. Hunter Henry. Bro, <laughs> I think Devontae Parker is going to be better. Like. No, Hunter Henry and them had a connection last year. Kendrick Bourne is going to be a good one. I, I can't wait to see that. There were some good I highlights so. last year. Didn't we, I, get, didn't we get Malcolm Butler back? Yes, sir. Hey, Why? Man. Bro, see, don't even mention that because he's Why? probably fourth string corner. Mm-hmm. It don't matter. Either way, I believe on our team, you know. I'm a New England guy till I die. We had Brady. I'm gonna be rooting for Brady too. You know, Tampa. They got uh, fuck Brady. Tampa, no, more like tampering. Play. You hear the whole tampering oh, thing? Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, hey, he ain't shit. gonna get punished. Only the Miami gonna get punished. I mean, I don't blame him. Bill, <laughs> Bill was kicking him out anyway. Yo, how are you gonna win a Super Bowls and then you ask for like a two year twenty five mil like two, for? But no, nah, he's like, no, nah, we're trying to give you thirteen. Been trying to get you th- two years, thirteen mil. He's the greatest quarterback of all Bro. time. He's been taking pay cuts since he came there's in. No, really there's pay no that man. way. That man just won like two Super Bowls. Nah, there's no in. way that you guys are saying that. I'm saying what's, that man. I'm saying what's twelve million to Tom Brady? Nah, but, but this is the thing. Let's is, be honest. You got to be on. honest. Like, sure, they didn't pay him. Look how we could we could have a whole ass fucking look, podcast. Look how look this. how they're getting paid now. Look at Dak Prescott. Look at Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray got the bag. They thought you got to think of wh- how the Patriots like. Sure, when they were winning, one everything changed around twelve and Bill. Everything changed around it. But then, as soon as you change twelve and put Bill by himself, but then another quarterback, you're like, oh fuck, nah, this this team ain't shit. Like Brady was the reason. No, bro. No, we're gonna. See we it. had we're a good see. team. We had a good team around Brady, and Brady was just that leader. People wanted to play with Brady. People wanted to play for a leader. Last two years. Who was the fucking leader on that team? Right. Like, no leader, no one to look up to. Now that they have a leader, I think Mac, I think a lot of people on the defense are going to... Judon. Yeah, Talk about like, that man, Judon. Man, Judon. Judon. Respect bro, Judon. He, he got the Twitter fingers, too, because he, yeah, want, yeah, he yeah, wanted I to get everybody him. on his team this I'm summer for free agency. Right. So, um, I'm excited you can talk for about the Patriots. That? Oh, if it's free agency or... What? No, he, said, he was just during, like, he was, like, tweeting at free agents, like, hey, come to, come to New yes, England, shit like that. So, you can do that. I mean, players can do it. You know how like, you, I thought NBA, uh, it's it, a little different oh, it's because like it's the owners or something. Right. Yeah, but it's, it's, like, it's different in every league that like NFL. I don't think there's much like you can't, that player can't do anything to sign him. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, like right. it's, it's like, uh, in Whereas, the like NBA, LeBron can just kind of, right. Like LeBron has that team. type. Cause, cause this is the thing. And we'll talk about this soon is NFL and NBA, two different leagues. One's an owner's league and one's a player's league. Right. right. Like the NBA players, players, league. League. players run that shit. Look right. at Kyrie. Yeah, Irving, look at Ben Simmons. Like look that. at James Harden, you yeah. know, shit like that. It's crazy. So, it, it's pretty wild, but, um, also the money, you know, the center can get paid as much as a point guard and all. In football, there's a like there's, oh set salary for positions. There, yeah, yeah. Like, there's a max there's for a positions. The quarterback gets paid yeah. the most. You know, you yep. it, it won't get as paid as much as a kicker. A kicker might get five mil, but a quarterback. Look at the quarterbacks getting paid this year and further years. They're gonna get like 35, 40 mil, just basic. Yeah. And then, you know, the big ones like uh, Holmes and uh, Dak Prescott, they're going to get another contract. I'm sure they're going to be 60 plus. And, it's unbelievable. Know. And I think we like I just want to touch on this because we talked about influencers and now we're talking about athletes. There's a lot of joint joint like, ones like yeah. Juju Smith Schuster is a big one. Yeah. I just said his, I butchered his name. But <laughs> Juju. But Juju you just, is you like, think of like the gaming gaming community like you got, like Ben Simmons is in phase. Right. Bronny's in phase. Right. Like Kyler Murray's in phase. Like they all are part of a 
You know, an Snoop actual Dogg organization. Snoop Dogg just got recruited Snoop, to FaZe. Snoop, like, that's Uncle insane. Snoop. You would have never thought that growing up. Like, I was a huge FaZe fan right. growing this dude, up. This dude, Snoop Dogg, me is and Ant in... were trick shotters back in the day on Modern Warfare 2. Like, Snoop Dogg that's is, crazy to me. is a playable character in Vanguard. Like, he has his own pack. I guess. Yeah, that's yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like, and I remember Snoop was like, Are you Snoop? He's like, Yeah, I'm Snoop. What's his finishing move? It's something where he like he like turns the person around, shoots him, but then he there's the animation yeah, yeah, yeah. where he smokes yeah, yeah, yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, yo, I got the the animated weed like calling card, bro. Shit's <laughs> yeah. sick. You got a sick pack. You got a Snoop, Uncle you Snoop. Shout me, out. You, know, you got some beef. They got beef. What yeah. kind of beef? They sizzling over there. Do you want it? You want to get controversial? Mm, oh always. no! How controversial? In, are we talking? The, in the sports realm. Always. All right. Well, say, what are we talking? Say a thing. Brittany Griner. Oh, oh shit! All right, so crazy. I don't think she should be locked up for sure, I mean, but you got to yeah. think of where the fuck you were at. <laughs> like you were in fucking Russia, right? Right. Yeah. All right. If you haven't seen Stranger Things season four, right. Russia's brought up as like we're one of the worst, worst places back. on earth. Like, like they, they got, got demogorgons there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> so <laughs> think about it. Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner's probably in some trouble now, man. Yeah, they said nine years and a, nine, and nine a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of rubles, I believe. That's what they currently You saw the is. trade deal that they're trying to do? Yeah, yeah Joe, Joe Biden, Biden sh- fucking, what kind of what kind of GM is he yeah. to do that? He's getting fleeced. <laughs> He's like, hey, it's it's a criminal that's known to Russia. So, I, I mean, we don't really have to deal with them. So, we yeah, get our know, US. They'll probably, they'll probably be like, yes, let him free. And then they just let him walk and roam the fucking <laughs> Russian estates. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, dude, dude I, I kind of want to go to Russia now, but there I just know I'm not bringing no no weed. Yeah, no. Oh, you know, who wants to go there? Right it's now? like you do you not know like I, I the just wanna, I want to travel. The relations that U.S. and <laughs> Russia have right now, like, why would you try and push your luck? Right. Like, why do you think she got what she got? Yeah, yeah. But people are saying like, oh, if this was like someone like LeBron. He would have been back already, stuff like that. He but wouldn't be over there. It's like, <laughs> right. And it's like, he wouldn't be dumb Why enough do you think to LeBron do that. doesn't go to China? <laughs> he'll go to China. I, I mean, he, he, he can afford people bro, to tell him not to, to do that. So. He, he would not go to China. He yeah. got, bro, no. Do you remember during that whole fucking ordeal when he was not even like speaking on stuff that was going on in China because he knew that his money was involved and his brand was right. involved. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that man is not going to China. Yeah. Damn, we're but we're going on like a little bit of a off a uh, off kilter a little bit, but well, as you can as you can see, you know this is this is the main point of the podcast. You know, influencers, athletes, you know, people like me, Matt, and Nate, we're all the same. It all depends on your following, as you can see. When people got followers, they got that clout up. But um, <laughs> but other than that, I think that um we're gonna move into you know. Our idiots in the news this Ooh, week. Who we got? We got, got yeah. We're going overseas this week. Uh-oh. Across the pond. Hold up. You ready for the jingle? Hey, pal. You just blowing from Stupid Town? Idiot! Where are you? An idiot sandwich. <laughs> it's like 10 seconds long, so I just to make sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, like, slows it down. And All right, ready? We're overseas. We are in Newport. But not Newport, Mass. Okay. Or is it Mass, right? Me. Well, wait, there is a Newport. There is a Newport. Mass. There's a Newport, Rhode Island. There's a Newport. Uh, there's uh, a lot of Newports. There's Marlboro Newports. So All right. Were, right. So the headline reads: <laughs> He's bringing up cigarettes. <laughs> That's Marlboro. Oh no, they have Newports exactly, too. Yeah, exactly. Look at them. All right. Bitcoin. Oh. Did you hear this Bitcoin Fuck. scandal? No, but no. Bitcoin's always up in something. So a missing hard drive could fund a Newport crypto hub. So, almost ten years ago. A guy named James Howells threw away a hard drive, uh, forgetting about the Bitcoin on it. So the Bitcoin that he had on it today is estimated to be worth $184 million. So it said he bought it back in 2013. Um, It's it's 10 years ago, too. This is a decade ago. So you imagine the the price of Bitcoin now, it's like $22,000, I think, for one Bitcoin. But probably back when he bought it in 2013... Definitely a lot cheaper. Yeah, definitely. Um, so he's trying to get people to excavate this landfill. He's putting fifteen million dollars. I don't know how he got fifteen million dollars. Oh, boy. He's, he's really, he's, he's really trying to get. He's this. putting because look at the cost, the cost uh, benefit. You know, like you're spending fifteen, but if you do find that hard, 
Which, how is chances? it going to still be intact in a, in a 10 year landfill? Bro, none. A 10 year well. landfill? Well, it's been gone for 10 none. years. Yeah. So. The thing is corroded. Dude. Give up. That man fumbled a fucking bag. Yeah, and then, and then the officials. Fumbled a few bags. I think this is in the UK. I know we said Newport, but it's in the, or it's overseas. We'll link the article. Um, done fuck, up. I forgot to do that last week. Uh, but. We fucked up. The, two people. We the official. in the news today. <laughs> <laughs> the the officials started to say that it, it could be a uh, a climate risk to do so. And so, you know, if we're going to dig up this landfill. I don't know why he's going to waste his money. And you might as well invest into another Bitcoin if you got all that money for that. All right. 15 mil, you're putting 15 mil into the search? Like you're taking out a loan this or something? It's like, gone, bro. There ain't <clears> no way. How long? A decade? There ain't no way. It's in it. So you better put it in like a, like a cement case. You better... Like you, they ain't gonna right. salvage that. Right. It's gone, bro. <laughs> Wasting your time. Like I don't I'm know just how laughing the fact, work. I'm just laughing at the fact that, that like, why, why did it take him so long? Like, like right? why did it take him ten years? Right. It did he not see Bitcoin going, going up in like 2016? Or it's like maybe six years ago you would have been good. Maybe he's just like, fuck. Like maybe I. All right, let nah, the hard nah, drive. Nah. <laughs> 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 I, to I, don't know what, I don't know what he's smoking, but I want some. It must be that Snoopy pack. It must be Uncle Snoop's pack. Cause anybody, <laughs> anybody that's investing in crypto and NFTs, they ain't smoking enough weed. That's for sure. Well, did you hear? Uh, I'm too busy making money. Well, you hear you're well, fuck no, yeah, dude. Like gold. All right, I'm a big hater on NFTs and crypto. I don't so like I'm not NFTs. Even gonna talk NFTs about are it. stupid. NFTs though. are fucking. It's all stupid in my opinion. I love the memes with that. People it's think like, people think they go and like screenshot people think it. They aren't throwing money into this. People think that they literally, it it's free shit. But it like and they're making money off it. It's like no, you're putting money and you're losing money. Like it's just I, we don't have to go into it. I want to leave a question for the viewers and for the listeners for next week. Leave your comments below. Are you guys? people who believe in nfts and crypto if you are tell me why i want to know your reasons why i want to know like if you can kind of educate me a little bit educate me but i have my thoughts and opinions for sure but yeah leave a comment um let us know let us know let us know as always um we appreciate you guys for listening tuning in and being a part of this journey with us um like i said like we said uploads every week every monday lights out co um you'll see an upload pretty soon we actually are going to do some new videos we actually one of them is actually includes um an escape room we're all going to go to escape room and try to escape that and think it will be pretty cool experience um and then we have some other stuff as well so stay tuned for it uploads every monday yes sir sign off my friends yes sir be on the lookout every monday like chris said like subscribe comment big nate the great Throw your handle down. Throw your handle. The handle will handle. Uh, lights out, lights out, baby. Nah, nah follow lights out, Coke, because he doesn't. Yeah, nah, sir, look, his name's uh Bubba underscore Bubba Warman. underscore yes, Warman fifty sixty two. Big Bubba. You got Matty Y L O C. Yeah. And then CB lights out. CB. Anthony on the mic. Shout out. Sage in the background. Shout in the out. audience. Yes, sir. Shout out. Lights out. Shout out. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll Catch see you guys next week. time. And then next week, you already know. Peace, peace, peace.